Well, we might enjoy this early taste of spring, but it's not really the weather we should be having in January. And that has some people concerned. Jim Smith is in Somerville, where he's been speaking to a climate expert. And Ken, this expert from UMass Lowell does have some credentials. Her recent work has been funded by NASA. She believes that when it comes to this warm weather in the middle of the winter, something bigger is at work. Golf in mid-January. Ice skating in short sleeves. It's a bonus, right? Well, a local climate change expert says maybe not. She says days like these make her nervous. I got out and enjoyed the weather, right? It feels nice to have 70 degrees in the middle of January. Having said that, um, a lot of us also have a little bit of an uneasy feeling, right? It's like, is this something that is a sign of something bigger and maybe even something wrong? The professor says we can expect to see more warm winter days in the future, but she believes that won't be all. More wildfires in Australia and California, like more flooding in the city of Boston and in fact in my hometown in Somerville. We expect to see sea level rise taking out many of our favored places to go on days like this. She says it won't be just more wildfires. If no action is taken, the professor says parts of the Middle East and North Africa may become uninhabitable. So what to do? Some of the most effective things we can do and we're doing now is shifting our source of electricity. We can use solar, wind, hydro, geothermal. But not everybody agrees. A recent CBS News poll indicates that 20% of Americans believe that climate change is a minor problem. 16% say climate change is not a problem. However, 36% say climate change is a serious problem, and 28% call it a crisis. In Somerville, Jim Smith, CBSN, Boston.